Nice shorts. Besides being found in layers, real life coal is usually associated with specific sequences of rocks called cyclothems. If you look at a cross section of some shoreline, you have the slope and sea level is at a certain elevation. Don't really think too much about the scale here. This is deep ocean and this is the shore. Sediment is washing from the land into the ocean. Fine grained particles can stay suspended in water longer, so you get clays out where it's deeper. Closer to the shore, you can have some marine organisms making calcium carbonate and depositing it, something like a reef. Closer than that, you have some tidal action and some beaches and you have sand. Up on and near the shore, you can have some deltaic and swampy depositional areas. If everything just stayed the same, then sediment would advance and fill the basin. But what's really happening is usually a race between weathering, deposition, and the rate of sea level change, which determines a sequence of sediment that is deposited. It's beyond the scope of this video, but in geology, the field of sequence stratigraphy deals with this and trying to unravel old layers of sediment to determine what was happening at the time. This is why the Badlands look the way they do. They are a sequence of sediment laid down and small changes are reflected in their color. Over time, these sediments will lithify, the organics can become coal, the sand becomes sandstone, the mud becomes slate, and if you just looked at a slice, you would have these layers. And this is what you normally see in outcrop. Here's a road cut from Pennsylvania that shows this in real life. So maybe coal in the game could be found as some layers. Maybe replacing a small section of the Badlands in some variety of colors. I'm not really happy with what I have behind me, but hopefully you get the idea.